Hello everybody, Jack here from JBC Productions, and a while back I did my Five Nights at Freddy's plush collection, and since then I've gotten a few new plushes, so I decided, hey, why not today I'll do um, my collection again with the new ones that I have. There's official ones, and duplicates, and customs, we'll get into all those later. Um, but I'm gonna be doing these in order of release, except for Giant Nightmare Freddy, because like I said in previous videos, he's too big! He's the second biggest plush I ever owned. <laughs> Not just of Five Nights at Freddy's, but... First up is Sanchi Fredbear, because the Sanchi blushies were released before the Funko ones. And... I already covered these, most of these guys once, so that's why I'm just showing them to you. And then next up is Freddy, who was the first Funko one ever made. Uh, Bonnie. Chica. Who's ugly. The ugly ducky. He's not a duck. Foxy. Who's cute. <laughs> I guess. And... Funtime Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I don't care if people like call her Toy Foxy, like it's Toy Foxy, Jack. Not oh, Funtime Foxy. Scott named two characters the exact same thing. I don't care. <laughs> um, now let's get into exclusives. And keep in mind that I don't have all of Wave 1 or any of the black light plushes. Well, unless you count one of them. Uh, but for the first exclusive, a Hot Topic exclusive, it is Shadow Freddy. I forgot to mention Giant Nightmare Freddy is a FYE exclusive. And Shadow Freddy is a Hot Topic exclusive. Now my favorite plush of all time, well favorite Five Nights at Freddy's plush of all time, Funko ones at least, Golden Freddy, who is a Walmart exclusive. And now into wave two is the two easiest plushies, one of the two easiest plushes to get, Nightmare Freddy. And next is Springtrap. Nightmare Foxy. Um, who's next? The Cupcake. And I, I got all four of these guys at the same time. Just Letting you know that. Uh, marionettes. He's pretty cool. Um, toy Ch and Toy Chica. Those are all of the non-exclusives. People for a while said that Toy Chica was an FYE exclusive, but then figured out that she wasn't because the internet is stupid. And. At some point in the future, I might get two more Nightmare Freddies. It's like the little Freddles for Nightmare, for the big one. Um, but now for exclusives, uh, the Walmart exclusive was Nightmare Mangle. I don't care if people are calling it Mangle. Funko confirmed it. And if you think it's Nightmare Mangle, okay. I won't, like, I don't want huge debates in the comments. Toy Bonnie, who is a Hot Topic exclusive. The Nightmare Cupcake, which is a GameStop exclusive. And, um, when I, when I went to my GameStop, there were actually two Nightmare Cupcakes, so we, so when Wave 2 was out in, like, t l late 2016, early 2017, he was not that difficult to find. Um... Nightmare Bonnie, who what who used to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but he's not anymore. And I think this one is the last uh, of Wave Two. It's Phantom Foxy, who was a Target exclusive. He was a weird addition to the Wave because he's cool, but like there weren't any other Phantoms made officially, at least. <laughs> There have been a lot of customs and bootlegs. Um, now on to the sister location way, I mean wave 3. 
whatever you want to call it, sister location, wave three. I'll just call it wave three for now. Uh, first up is Circus Baby, who's easily like one of the best out of the whole wave. Because like, this wave wasn't really that good. Uh, Ballora. Now, at first, this used to be my most hated Five Nights at Freddy's plush, but over the time of using her in my plush videos, I started, I, I've started to like her a bit more, but I still don't really like her that much. Then we got the plush that everyone hates on for no reason. To quote Mysterious, I don't remember the numbers of his username, but he's Mysterious. Uh... The most hated on plush for absolutely no reason, Funtime Freddy. Um, he like he's like my sixth favorite, I don't remember. And then there's easily, in my opinion, the worst Five Nights at Freddy's plush. Funtime Foxy. You already have one. Anyway, uh there's entered. And the last of the ex uh, the last of the commons for this wave was Lulbits. I just noticed that like all of the foxies except for Nightmare Mangle are over here for some reason. I think. Yeah, all the foxies except for Nightmare Mangle. Um now for exclusives there is Bonnets was a Walmart exclusive, um, and my easily my favorite out of the wave, Exotic Butters. That was a terrible impression. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Exotic Butters, or as I like to call them, the Six Buttery Butters. Um, and this was the only plush to not be released in a wave. He was released, like, all by himself. He was released like shortly after the uh, Blacklight Plush Wave, but I don't really count him as part of that wave. It's Bloom Boy. He's one of the new ones that I have, and I like just got him like five days ago, and he's absolutely adorable. It's the propeller. Everything out of him looks good. He's easily one of my favorites. So just sit on there, and that's all of the one. These, this is my whole collection. Well, it's not. I still have a few more. Um, first up, the duplicates that I got. I'm not kidding when I say I have two bonnets. I'm not joking. I have two of them, and I also have two Ennards. The second one. Um, I got from Mario Muffet Adventures, their giveaway thingy. And now it's time for the final section, the custom section. Uh, so this is kind of a custom, but yeah, it's kind of, these next two are kind of customs. Uh, Funtime Freddy without Bon Bon, which now that Five Nights at Freddy 6 is out, you can pretty much say it's a healthy plush. So yeah, there's Fun Time Freddy, and then right after him is Bon Bon. I literally I just cut him off of this Fun Time Freddy, and Pancake Cosmo did not like it. And these next three are customs, and I think I did a pretty good job on them because they're like my first ever custom plushes, and they actually aren't any of these guys, like, they aren't in the style of any of these guys. They're actually, uh, normal stuffed animals that I turned into animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's 6. First up, Rockstar Freddy, who I think I, who think is, like, the best out of all the customs that I made. It looks pretty good. Um, there's, like, a piece of tape that's sticking out, but when you look at him like this, it's not really noticeable. I did horrible on the stars, though. But this is like the best one, I, the best custom I made for Five Nights at Freddy's 6 at least. And then the first custom that I made uh, was Rockstar Bonnie. And keep in mind that I made these all today. 
Um, he looks pretty good. Not as good as Rockstar Freddy, I think, but he still looks pretty good. The thing is, he's like a lot smaller than Rockstar Freddy, who's like Sanchi size. This guy's Funko size. And the last custom, the last plush I have here, is Rockstar Foxy, who I think I did kind of decent on. I didn't really do. Didn't really do that good on his peg leg because, like, you can kind of see his foot. But if I like stretch it out there, you can't really see it anymore. I think I did pretty good on him. I didn't have any room to repair it, but still. And that's my friends. Is my entire Five Nights of Freddy's plush collection. This is easily the the biggest collection of plushes I have here. Um. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time because I don't know how to end this. Goodbye.